Are you ready for your interview? Yep, I do too. Is there anything unique about you? What do you mean? Unique, like something that's special about you. Uh, I can do this. Do you ever feel envious of your sister? <laughs> With the boyfriend? Yes. Because I've been wanting to follow in your footsteps since your first one. Mm -hmm. And I haven't. I still don't have a boyfriend. And Sarah's like on her fourth boyfriend now, Max. And he's really nice and stuff, but I still haven't had one. I'm getting tired of it. How would you describe your sister? A tree. Cause he's a like, tree? Cause he, just, let me finish, okay, Sarah. Okay, okay. She's very tall, but I love my sissy anyway. When I was at school still and I saw people like together and whatever, it just made me feel sad because I don't have one. What's it like for you when you hear Michelle say that she wants to follow in your footsteps? Well, I think it's really nice because it means that I have good stuff, footsteps to follow, I guess, you know? Like, it's not, it's something that big she wants. Footsteps. Big footsteps. Yeah, <laughs> big footsteps. Sorry. It's, it's I, a path that she likes, and she likes the person I've become, so um, that's, that's nice to hear. What do you want someone to think when they see you for the very <laughs> first time? Sorry, I had to yawn when you... <laughs> Am I boring you? <laughs> Do you want me to dance around while I ask no, my questions? No, I just woke up at bike this morning to go to the bathroom and that's early. I can't believe you're yawning at me. I am, am I not entertaining enough? I am not yawning. You, I explained to you why I was yawning. You know, I'm a sensitive guy. I'm going to start crying in a minute. No, you are not. When somebody sees you for the first time, <laughs> what do you hope they think? That I'm cute. I was walking from my room across the hall to the bathroom and Michelle was in her room alone with a full length mirror and she didn't know anybody was there. And she, I think she had on a new outfit or something. And she just looked at herself in the mirror and she just said, I look so good today. And like, I don't even remember that. I know, but because that's like a daily thing for you. But a lot of people in this world are not do not have that kind of vision of themselves. Mm. And so I think that is one of the best things about you because you are just so unapologetically yourself. Be specific. My next question. Question what? Question 24. <laughs> <laughs> Would you describe yourself as sassy? No! And whoever said that is a liar. There's a lot of words that we could use to describe Michelle. Um, I know she doesn't like sassy, so I will say she is strong-willed and empowered and has very um, specific opinions about things and very smart. I already talked to Chris about the sassy thing. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not. Well, I just think you are very, you know what you want and you know what you think and you know your opinions and you want to... You want to assert them at every opportunity. Would you mind sitting up for this one? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my God, Chris. What was that all about? <laughs> Do you like goofy people? Yes. Why? They make me laugh. <laughs> like you. Okay, I'm going to ask you question number 1,700,082 of this interview. Are you ready? <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm serious. I'm keeping track. No, you're you're going all over the place. You don't believe him? Are you calling me a liar? No. I'm being serious over here. No, I did not call you a liar. But you went from 10 to 365. M maybe you're calling me an embellisher. No, I call you a skipper. You calling me? You calling me a skipper? Yes. I've never skipped a thing in my life. You're skipping numbers. I would never skip a number. Now are you ready for question number 10,815? Skipping numbers and yes. You can call me Skippy. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather be seen as nice or confident? I don't know. Maybe both. I think you are both. Yeah. You love yourself the most of anyone I've ever known. Yep. Yeah. 
So I wish I could have an eighth of that. No. <laughs> Not that generous. <laughs> that leads into my next question. Question 1517. <laughs> That's funny. Are you ready for it? Yep. If you're not sassy, what are you? Hmm, I guess kind. And I'm not sassy. What's it like to be Michelle's mom? Being Michelle's mom <laughs> is the most rewarding thing I've ever done in my life, <laughs> as well as the most exhausting <laughs> and worrisome thing in my life. Oh my God. I, I love her to death. I, I'm so, I feel so blessed that she's in my life along, you know, um, with all of her challenges and all the, all the hardships that we've all endured, she still is the strongest one in the family because she's the funniest, she's extremely smart, and by far and large, she makes me happy when I'm down. What is suctioning? Are you asking me? Or? Well, why don't, you, why don't you answer and then I'll answer after. Okay, it's to clear my trachea so I can breathe. Clear, yeah, so it's basically like blowing your nose for a, a person without a trach. It clears the mucus out of the trachea so that it's clear. I like to go underwater and I can't because my trach. What is a trach? Really, Chris? I guess that's silly, but it helps me to breathe. Because I got tiny nose. Pretty much just like blowing your nose, right? Yeah. But you don't blow your nose. No, I don't. So now I'm turning suction on so I can start. So I dip it in the water first and then into the tray. <laughs> and I cough. I cough good. Do you understand why sometimes your mom might be worried about you? Because I'm sick a lot of the time and because my meds give her a headache when they don't get approved. Oh my god. Yes. A lot of times insurance and um, Medicaid, we have both um, challenges yeah. medication all of a sudden out of the clear blue. She'll have been on a medication for seven years they and all of a sudden they say, hmm, not we're, not, we're not going to prove that anymore. And it'll be like a $500 a month med. Or, yeah. And, and we, we jump through the hoops, the appeals and all that. But it happens so much yes. throughout the 22 years. It's a, that's what's exhausting. Mm -hmm. But it's just it's a game that that is played by insurance and Medicaid and, and you have to, to keep play. their costs down. And you have to play the game. We gotta play the game. We gotta keep you going, Lady Jane. Yep. When did you first learn to help your sister with the trick? Twelve, I think. I, I asked. I, one day, I asked my mom. I was like, I was like, I can suction her, and I was like, what? I was like, yeah, why not? I mean, it's an easy procedure, and it's one less thing for you guys to do. And so my mom taught me, and and then what? Uh, Twelve years later, I'm a newly graduated nurse. Yes, I'm right? pretty soon. What is your diagnosis? Halliman Street Syndrome. What is that? I. It means I have 26 of the 28. Characteristics. I can't say the words. Characteristics. Characteristics that make up me. How would you describe it, Mom? Um, it's a rare genetic disorder. Um, one of the primary characteristics of this syndrome is a cranial facial disorder, and along with that comes cataracts, um, small airway, recessed chin, dental anomalies, high palate. Um, small nose, uh, and then there's many other characteristics that can be associated. And like Michelle said, she has 26 to the 28. And you only need to have seven or eight to be diagnosed with it. Do you have any fears? Mm -hmm. Well, I can say this now, but years ago, I couldn't even say it. I am afraid of robots. Are there any questions you don't want to be asked? But other than that, I'm an open book. When I was little, I had this toy robot and it would not shut up. So I locked it in my closet. 
and I fear them ever since. I will not ask you any questions about robots, I promise. Yeah, don't do that. I won't even say the road I won't even say the word robots. Yeah, don't do that. I'm I'm not gonna do that. I promise you I won't say the word robots. If I catch you doing that on Insta, I'm calling you out. Have you two always been as close as you are now? I think I think so. I'm sure we had a few years, like teenage years, where we weren't. We were kind of like in different spaces in life. Yeah. But I think now that we're in our 20s, we're both kind of like besties. Yes. Yeah. Especially on Insta. Especially on Insta, yeah. We send each other Insta messages and stuff. And pictures. And pictures. And selfies. And giffies. I will never say the word robots. Robots will not come out of my mouth. It's just it. Again. That's my troll face. Oh my god. If you could go anywhere in the world, <laughs> where would you go? Seriously, Chris, you already know this, but I'll say it. Disney. God. <laughs> Chris, Chris, Chris. Oh my god. If somebody sees you out in public, like at the grocery store or at the park, wherever you are, yeah. do you want them to come up and say hi? Yes, but they need to be at my eye level like what you are right now, and they have to say their name. Do you find it intimidating when they're up high? No. What do you think when people stay up high and talk to you? They think I can see them right there, but I can't. Oh, so it's because of your vision, and when I'm this close, you can see me? Yes. But when I'm up high, you can't see me? No. Are you able to see far? Well, my right eye, I can see, but in my left eye, it's just... People need to look past her differences and into her soul and her heart, because it's the biggest heart you'll ever meet. What in this world makes you the happiest? Uh, Piper, my dog. Who is this gnarly beast? <laughs> she is not a gnarly beast. She's a sweet dog called Piper. She's my daughter. I play with her. I love her. I can't take her out because I can't pick up poop. So my parents do that, but I hook her up to the least I unhook her. What's the best thing about being a dog mom? Taking care of my sweetie. If she takes care of me when I'm sick or sad. What are some things that make you sad? Loud noises scare me. So she licks my face and then she licks the tears off it and now she's licking my foot. Are you two able to enjoy the present without worrying about the future? 100%. Mm -hmm. of, of course the future is always there, unknown. but we can, and it's, uh, yeah, you said it perfectly, it's, it's unknown. unknown. But, but we you know. have a, go ahead. <laughs> See, we we're talking the same. We don't focus on it one day at a time. Go ahead, Mom. You, well said.